Medical fun fact, ants used to be used as suture technology. So what they used to do is they used to take ants, pick them up by like tweezers, get them near a cut and put their jaw near that cut, stimulate the ant, poke it or something so that the, the jaw, the ant would clamp down on the actual wound, like the, the line cut. As the jaw, the ant would clamp down and, and approximate the two ends or, or bring the two ends together. Once their jaw locked in, they would twist off the ant's body so that the jaw would stay like the, the jaw would stay locked in. It acted as like a natural suture. It's it's kind of wild. Oh, don't worry. There are other insects that get used as medication. Maybe not so much in today's world, but definitely in the past. And so you got things like maggots that also clean up wounds. So it, just just imagine that for a second. You got bees as well with not only their honey being an antimicrobial, not allowing bacteria to grow, but even when the bee stings you, the venom is anti-inflammatory. So it actually is shown to help things like arthritis as well as things like high blood pressure, believe it or not. The silk from silkworms, disgusting, I know, but that has such a property that allows drugs to be delivered more efficiently and is being studied in labs on how to utilize that for human medication. This is the dilemma we often have in modern medicine where a lot of people might not want to take medication because they view something as unnatural. But in reality, a lot of modern medicine came from natural ingredients that were found in the world before. Don't get me wrong, a lot of these medications now are produced artificially in the lab. But for example, one of the oldest agents that we have of chemotherapy uh, the taxol family comes from trees like this was something incidentally discovered in a tree where it was I think the yew tree somewhere in like the northwest part of the United States that when they figured out parts of it were actually having an anti-cancer effect that's how they developed one of the first chemotherapy agents okay I just checked it was paclitaxel and it did come from the yew tree I hate using medication like everyone else probably and I try to limit it to when things are absolutely necessary but also don't underestimate the amount of progress that we've made as humanity with things like medication for diabetes, medication for blood pressure, even some of the more modern cancer therapy that we have. So eh, again, give and take.